I first start with one of the most important tools, which is 70% isopropyl alcohol. I absolutely drown my work surface in this, so I've got a nice clean surface clear of any contamination. I then set up this cheap camping stove that I use in place of a steel air box or a laminar flow hood. This creates a small space that I can work in where there's hot air rising that keeps small particles away from what I'm working on. An alcohol lamp could also be used. I methodically add each item into this sterile environment ensuring that I clean every item with isopropyl alcohol before I add it into the zone. Every time I complete a step in the process I make sure that I clean my gloves thoroughly with alcohol. I then prep my favourite tool which is the scalpel because Obviously it makes you feel like a real scientist, but for some reason I'm trying to put this scalpel blade on upside down here. So that quickly brings me back to reality. I use the flame to keep the scalpel blade sterile. And apparently my fingers too. But luckily the alcohol evaporates really quickly so it didn't even melt the gloves. I use a hot scalpel to cut out a tiny piece of colonized agar so I can transfer it into a fresh pot. I choose to use a hot scalpel because I'd rather kill off a little bit of the mycelium than accidentally introduce any contaminants to my pots. After every transfer I use heat and alcohol to sterilise the scalpel. Now that my three transfers are complete, I seal up the pots with grafting tape to prevent any contamination getting inside the pots. As you can see they were very successful and after four days of incubating at about 32 degrees celsius I've got lots of clean healthy growth. Now I'm going to show you how I go about inoculating my grain jars using agar. We start the process the same by ensuring that everything we're using is completely sterile before putting it into our workspace. Using a hot scalpel I cut my agar into small squares. Again, by using the scalpel straight after it's come off of the flame, I will be sacrificing a small bit of mycelium that it touches, but I would prefer this than accidentally introducing any contaminants into my trays.
Now the piece of agar that was stuck to the scalpel, I probably shouldn't have put that in the jar because I feel like I took that outside of my sterile zone. I now shake the jars really well ensuring that the agar is well incorporated into the grain so there's lots of inoculation points. I then use a bit of precautionary grafting tape on the lids because uh, these are miscellaneous lids that I've just plopped onto these random jars. And I discovered this much more efficient way of sealing up the pots as well. Once they're all complete, I just put everything into my incubator, which is just a cooler box that I've got a heat mat in, and it stays around 32 to 35 degrees Celsius. This is what the jars look like just over 24 hours later. this is one from a couple of weeks ago and that is it for this video but i really hope you found something useful in that if you have any questions drop me a comment and please subscribe if you want more